Julian Nagelsmann is one of the biggest enigmas in football management. When injuries ended his football career at the age of 20, the man went into coaching and has experienced a meteoric rise through the ranks, and he was promoted to Hoffenheim's head coach in 2016 at the age of 28. He took them to fourth and the Champions League, and then followed that up by finishing third, their highest ever finish. That caught the attention of RB Leipzig, who he took all the way to the Champions League semi-final. As always, Bayern came calling, and given the top job in Germany, Nagelsmann unsurprisingly won both the league and the domestic cup in his first season. But something always felt off, and halfway through the second season, as they sat second behind Dortmund by a point, Bayern ripped up their plans and sacked the young prodigy. But it seems like German football is adamant that Julian Nagelsmann is the next big thing in football management, as he is currently the boss of the national team and will be leading them into Euro 2024, which is being held in his native country. Can he guide Germany to glory? Is Nagelsmann really set for a trophy-laden career in management? As an elite manager myself, I think it's only fair that we play through Nagelsmann career in Football Manager 2024 and find out. Well, in the game, he won't be leading Germany to glory as he starts Football Manager unemployed. His stats are really good though, so it shouldn't take too long for him to find a job. Well, it took a whole season, but eventually a big club did come calling. AS Roma parted ways with Jose Mourinho, clearly wanting a more modern approach to their management for less than a season. It did take them to sixth, but I guess the board wanted a little more from him. But two years later, someone did come calling for him. But before we find out who, I would just like to ask that if you are enjoying this video, please click the little thumbs up button just below it. Um, it would really help the channel and only then will you find out who has employed Julian Nagelsmann. It was Fiorentina who swooped in to offer Nagelsmann a career lifeline and over the next two seasons he steered the purple machine to an impressive 8th and 6th place finish, securing European football for La Viola. This caught the attention of the English Premier League and shortly after, in the December of 2028, he agreed terms to become manager of Aston Villa. It might not be the elite path that many have mapped out for Nagelsmann, but he's on the right track. After guiding Aston Villa to a solid 8th in that half season, his first full season saw him take them to the heady heights of 4th, securing Champions League football and drawing interest from rivals Spurs. Nagelsmann moved to London, once again securing Champions League football before Bayern Munich returned for another bite of the Nagelsmann cherry. Is that okay to say? Could Nagelsmann later rest the ghost from his ill-fated spell at Bayern almost 10 years later? Well, he gave it a bloody good go. In his first three seasons, Nagelsmann led Bayern to three consecutive Bundesliga titles along with two German Cups. In August 2033, he was inducted into the German Hall of Fame before continuing on his rampage of German dominance by securing a fourth and fifth league title and a second double. In fact, he went one step further, completing a sensational treble in the 37-38 season, where his Bayern Munich lifted the Champions League, beating his former club Tottenham in the final. He followed that up with a sixth successive Bundesliga championship before Bayern Munich finally sacked him, stating they wanted a change at the helm and swiftly reappointed Thomas Tuchel, who due to licensing issues is called something else in the game. Weird. But this allowed Nagelsmann, fresh off of a trophy laden six years at Bayern, to return to the Premier League and he fancied his chances of reigniting Manchester United and leading them back to glory. And finish seventh. But he did manage to lift a European trophy as United boss only the Europa Conference League isn't the most prestigious. After three fairly unremarkable years at United, Nagelsmann clearly thought another club might lead him back to the top of the game. And he was right. He left Manchester United to become the new AC Milan manager and channeled his Bayern Munich days to lead them to two Italian Cups, one Serie A Championship 
and then once again lifted the Champions League in 2043. That inner Bayern clearly sent a message to Bayern as he once again joined Bayern Munich for a third time in 2044 and one year later he once again led them to the Bundesliga for the eighth time across his three spells in charge. He picked up a ninth Bundesliga title in 2046, a Pokal Cup in 2047, before resigning at the end of the season on good terms. One day later, he joined Liverpool. Back to the Premier League where Nagelsmann hasn't really made much of an impact and he was sacked just over a year later. Whoops! But failing upwards is something football managers do and considering he has 9 Bundesligas and 2 Champions Leagues to his name, it wasn't a surprise when he was appointed as manager of Real Madrid in the summer of 2049 and as expected he won the La Liga in his first season. The following season he added a third Champions League trophy to his resume and the season after that he lifted the Spanish Cup before winding down his career looking to finish some old business. Back to the Prem, this time with Tottenham Hotspurs. However, despite securing a respectable 4th and 3rd place finishes, Nagelsmann is unable to make a dent in the English game and at the ripe old age of 67, he returns for one last job at Bayern. His 4th time in the hot seat. And for the next two years, he continued his dominance of the German game, notching a Bundesliga in 2056 before securing a double in his final season of football management before he retires at the age of 69. <laughs> That's the funny number. Overall, according to Football Manager 24, Nagelsmann is able to navigate a tricky start to his career to go on to become one of the most successful managers of all time winning an incredible 11 Bundesliga titles, 7 Pokal Cups, a La Liga title, a Coppa del Rey, a Serie A title, 2 Italian Cups, 3 Champions League titles and of course the Europa Conference League with Manchester United. Who could forget that? He ends his career with a staggering 27 major trophies, having managed some of the biggest clubs in world football, having won multiple Manager of the Year awards, and he has been inducted into the German and European Hall of Fame. Not a bad career at all, and I'm pretty sure Julian Nagelsmann would bite your hand off if you offered it to him today. Please let me know in the comments below what was his most surprising move and if there's any other managers that you would like to see me play through on Football Manager 2024. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, find us on Discord, the link is below. As always, I have been the Bearded Manager and I'll see you next time.